everybody. Come on into the studio. Nice to see you. Oh, what's that on my mat? Oh, I'm not sure. Never mind. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Oh, just finished my tea. This was a gorgeous Starbucks cup. Look. Look at it. It's just really nice. With a little mermaid on. Oh, finish my tea. I've got a can of spring water made with wonky fruit, so don't worry. So, look at this nice thin book, because we're still at the start. So, here we have, um, there was the beginning, there's June the 1st. Um, there was my calendar page. I think, we've, I think we've put a picture of this up, I can't remember now. But what I did with this this time is I actually used, where are they? Let me get, oh, sorry. Let me get my calendar box. I used stamps to create the lines. I did it in pencil first, and then I used this stamp. So I went one way, then I went the other way. And then um, I used this stamp here. And when you see stamps like this in my dialogue stamps, if you can see, they are perfectly, this is the dots, but they are perfectly aligned to fit in between. It's every other one. So I did work it out, you know, so they're put in there. Then I used one of the background stamps to add the flowers, um, coloured them in and then just roughly went round the edges with um, with that there. Just roughly went, went round them. OK, um, so here we are. This is um, the second and this is the third. OK, so I'm actually a little bit behind. Oh, look at that. You see, let me see if I can move it across. I took that off and look what happened. Oh, how fabulous. How fabulous is that? It's not only a nice heart, it's got a little thing on the bottom. I love that. I love when you take those bands off and that happens. I'm just going to pop those there. So this was the day we had the blackout. So I didn't do any posting. That's why the posts were late. And I'm just going to make that a total blackout so I can write on it. So I'm just going to take this page and I'm going to make it into two separate pages. So I am just going to totally black out this page. That needs a shake by the look of it. Two coats are always um, better than one. And then I'm going to work on this page and then I'm going to come back and do this page because it should be it should be dry by then. Just nice. If it's not, if it doesn't cover brilliantly because, you know, I don't know when this was actually, when this was put on. This could have been put on oh, a year ago, 18 months ago. I don't know when this was actually uh, placed on. So... It, it might take a lot, a lot of coverage. Let's have a little bit of shake and we'll have a tiny bit more. And then we'll see. And this is usually why I do the black beforehand because you need quite a lot of coverage on there. That's better, that's better. There we go. So I'm just gonna pop that to one side and clean this up. I'm working on collage at the moment, collage sheets. So I'm just going to take that out again. So that's what I am working on. You see how it annoys See, this was already done and it annoys me because it's with my right hand. So that's why usually I don't put anything like this until later. But we'll just pop it to that side there. So while that is drying and I know what I want to write on here... So this is June the 3rd and on June the 3rd it was really, really rainy, really rainy. So um, let me just, I'm just going to outline these hearts. So these hearts are from my shape stencil and this shape stencil is the one I use the most and it's called Suits and it has the hearts the spade, the clubs and the diamonds and it's one I use all the time and it's a big stencil and you cut it into four and you have the outside so you can stencil inside and you always also have the inside so in the last uh, set of diary videos I showed you how 
how to do the opposite effect. So I am just going to outline those to make them um, stand out. And then I think I'm going to use the, I'm going to get the, the sorry, can't think when I'm bending over, <laughs> the rain, the raindrops. I think I'm going to draw raindrops in all the pink bit. So let me find a pencil. There we go. Looks as though it needs sharpening. The rain was much needed, but um, we don't like rain, do we? So, but we did need it. So it was a welcome relief from the closeness. It's very, very close. It's miserable out here today, but um, better than yesterday. Oops. Oh, actually, I don't know why I'm doing it in pencil. I want to do it in pen. It won't matter. I don't know why I picked pencil up then. I think because I've been finishing off a lot of quote cards and so I automatically pick the pencil up. But nothing matters. Because a really pink day is not really... A really pink page is not indicative of what the weather was like yesterday. The heating even clicked on. I didn't turn it on, the heating clicked. I thought, gosh, it's a bit warm in here at the moment. And the heating had clicked on, which really, really surprised me. We soon had that bad boy turned off. So I think I'm gonna color those in and then I am going to draw some, let me fold this over clip that down. <coughs> Excuse me. And then let's let's draw some lines for writing. I need to write about how the weather went cold and other things like that. we go come down here see I'm just doing a large and a small this tool is just such a useful thing to have it really is I constantly use it I'm going to put a die cut in here somewhere as well. I just lifted up a little box of them, a little mixed box that I've got of the die cuts. Whenever I open new packets, I throw... And I have to open new packets. Like, sometimes I'm doing videos and people need to see what they are, so I have to open new packets. So I end up with all these open packets. So I just throw them into, into boxes. And then I quite often will pick that box up and take that box with me when I'm traveling and just use whatever is in that box. So let's just fill these in here. June, can you believe it? So it's going to be Betsy's birthday soon, but we haven't told her because she will be upset that she can't have all her friends round, so Jay's just going to tell her nearer to the time. Because she just, bless her, she just doesn't understand. We can have a party in the garden, we can have a social distancing one, but obviously you can't have little ones there when you're social distancing. So let me paint in the, um, let's try to draw this one. What colour should we have? Let's have the raindrops. That colour. I need to fill all these water brushes up. So let's just paint those in. Let's squeeze. There we go. That's better.
my garden is actually looking gorgeous because of the rain. I do water it, but I think they were talking about us having a hosepipe ban. So in England, when it gets too hot, um, we have what we call a hosepipe ban and you're not allowed to water your grass or things like that. You have to water your plants with like your washing up water and stuff. I mean, it's fine, but um, it can make your grass go really brown. And in England, we have a lot of grass in our gardens. So we like them to be nice and green and lush. La, 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 la. That blue looks nice on that pink, doesn't it? Whoops. And I'll probably put the die-cut on first because and then I can see where, what I'm working with. So what shall we see? Look, I have this little box here. Maybe I should have, oh no, I had raining cats and dogs last time, didn't I? Maybe I should have a little, oh, should I have a little octopus or should I just have a person? Oh, I've also got some, some cutout bits there as well. Whoops. Oh, hang on, what's this one? Oh, I quite like this one. Maybe we'll have him. There we go. It's the last one. Usually if there's a last one or there's one just sitting around, I think that's the one. It's meant to be. So let's just grab him and glue him down. Oh, so there we go. And what's the reason for putting him there? No idea. No reason at all. He was just the last one in the box. And that's good enough reason for me. Oh, there we go. Let's press him down. Let's draw around him. There we go. I might colour him, him and I might no, I quite like him black and white on there actually. So right then. Let's have I'm gonna have a little bit of doodling in here. And I'm gonna use the dilutions pen for this bit because it's smaller. If I use the Posca pen, it would overtake it really because it's a much fatter nib. So can you see where I'm just going in between here? And if I did that with the other paint pen, the lines would be too thick. And that's why I always use my pen and the other brand at the same time. So I can get different effects. Come on. There we are. Just needed some more paint in it. The little touches, to me, just, you know, make it. You don't have to put these, but these are the things that I just spend ages doing. There we go. So let's see. Um, so 
today, there, you can see the difference in the thickness. Oh. So I'm just um, writing about the rain. And again, it's more for decoration. It's not necessarily, I can read it back, but it's not necessarily for anybody else to read back. date here so it was the um same third okay oh i know what i meant to say actually about the calendar if you are in one of the countries where your day starts on a sunday you would need an extra line. See, this has got five. It's got this row, this row, this row, this row, this row, five rows. Yours would need um, an extra row because yours, uh, your, no, wouldn't need an extra row. Sorry, your Sunday would be here. So you would need an extra one here because everything will be bumped across. Okay. In Europe, we start on a Monday. Okay, so there is... Um, and I think I'm going to put a little running stitch, but a fatter one, all around the outside of these. Just in the little border, Can you see, just in that little border between the white line and the black, and we'll just add a little bit, and then I'm going to add just a little highlight. I do it with a black pen and then fill it in with a white pen. And then I'm definitely going to outline these. I just think they need it. I'll probably not outline them badly as I normally do. Just wait for that to dry. And I could have done it either way around. I could have drawn it and then doodled it, whichever. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so. Look at that. That one's nearly done. That's not going to take me long, is it? Oh, I'll tell you what, what tomorrow then, <clears throat> I'll do this page and I'll show you how to fit them all into the um, into the thing like this, okay? Because there's some Christmas ones. I think there's a January one. I'll show you how to fit them in. I'll do that tomorrow with this. And now I'm going over to this one. 
So this is what I want to do. There was a blackout on um, on Facebook and Instagram, so I didn't pause anything. And it was just it, a blackout so that important information about Black Lives Matter and resources and things like that could get out. So it, we just put a blank screen up. So it's pause the show, use your voice, and then it was hashtag Blackout Tuesday and June the 2nd. So I'm going to write that in there so let me think how am i going to do it i think i am oops going to uh, put i think i just want it quite simple really so pause the show Use your voice. Hashtag Black Out Tuesday. June 2nd, 2020. Okay. And I think I'm just going to put a little board around it. Now, in I have my own personal diary where I write personal things. And in that one, what I did was I did the tri trick of filling the page with writing before I put the black paint over the top. So I wrote and voiced my opinions underneath and then painted it on the top and put this. But my personal is my personal. So I do a personal one and I do this one as well. And I always have done because I think it's important that you see examples of how things are done, but you don't need to know a lot of my personal stuff okay so border let's have let's go to my favorite stitching time i need to pick a new one of this up this black is driving me mad let's take that off and let's just pick i just want something simple i think i'm just gonna go with this could i have drawn it myself yes but I know a lot of others can't, so. And then that's all this needs. This page will speak for itself because we are in the middle of a pandemic and we're in the middle of a revolution. So it's important. Amazing how it fits. Oh, Diane. Sometimes you do something right. There we go. That's enough. So, yes, yeah, so we have the 2nd of June here when we took part in the blackout. We've got the 3rd of June here. And then tomorrow, the 4th of June. So um, I'll see you all for um, the next video. Okay.